everybody, Rombo here in Area 51 in Arizona. Welcome back. Those aliens have gone back to Jupiter when they saw me coming. And look what I've got, boys and girls, ladies and germs, a real Colt M4. 223, 5.56, the gun of our military. What a sweet piece. Certified use, I requested this, they sent it to me. Hey, want to see it shoot? I do. Yeah, root beer jug. Yeah, go back to Jupiter. There's a pop can. Woo, not anymore. What a sweet gun. I love the smell of root beer and ginger ale in the morning, don't you? Let's show she's clear. Bolt hold open. Sweet little gun. Everybody that picks this gun up says, wow, that's light. Well, it is. Six and a half pounds, between 32 and 35 inches long, depending on whether the stocks collapse. But it's compact, really neat. Uh, standard features on this type of gun are a forward assist. Forward assist will bump the bolt forward if it's clogged with a little bit of sand or dirt. Uh, shell deflector, you can see a little brass on there because it works. It deflects that empty shell right out. Uh, magazine release, dust cover, six inch Picatinny rail. Look at the sight that comes on that. It's a Magpul M-Bus sail, uh, rear sight. Really cool. As it uh, comes, you can adjust the aperture, just like an M1 carbine. Big aperture for up close and a small aperture for longer range. This is a back up sight. You believe that? All that detail, it's windage adjustable left and right. Folds down out of the way. So my scope, my AR, uh, my uh, red dot, whatever I put on top here on that six inch pick rail, uh, this will stay out of the way. Pops back up just that easily. Front sight on this gun is standard uh, AR uh, elevation adjustable. Standard bird cage front. I'm gonna flip it over. Remember it's unloaded. The uh, bolt release is here. Safety is on safe and fire. Simple stuff. The uh, stock folds really well. I think it's three position. Uh, just kind of a bit short for me, but it is a carbine. Now, if you collapse that, look what happens. You've got a really handy Arnold Schwarzenegger gun from the hip. Yeah, almost a pistol. Bang, 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 bang. Woo, like it. This gun goes back to, uh, geez, 1994. By 2010, the U.S. Army ac accepted it. In 2016, the Marines took it. If the Marines took it and accepted it as their infantry rifle, you know it's good. Rather short, good in a tank, in a vehicle, wherever you go, yet it'll reach out to 600 yards. Prior guns with a CIR-15 used in Vietnam, pretty much a failure, I think. It was full auto with a 10 inch barrel that came out to here and a long flash suppressor to suppress that round. It wasn't very accurate, but it threw a lot of bullets out there. This gun has a 16 inch barrel, much better for the 223 round. And it uh, keeps the gun accurate out to 600. And we won't be shooting that far today, just some close root beer jugs. We like those. Oh, let's look at magazines. So I've got, of course, the 20 rounder, old standard Vietnam era, original 20 round steel. Magazine holds 20 rounds. And we're shooting some PMC today, 223, full metal jacket, 55 grain. And PMC sent me some. Ooh, I hate to shoot these. x tac match. These are 77 grain match bullets. I'd like to save those for the next match I shoot in. Look at all the customized magazines you can put on this gun. Here's a 30 rounder. 30 rounds of fun there. 60 rounds, which is composed of two 30 rounds, staggered and clipped together. So this allows me to change a magazine, drop it, and pull another one in really fast. I want to do some shooting. Let's shoot a few root beer jugs. We'll start up close. Close targets are 10 yards today. So wrap the uh, bolt release. The bolt is now rammed one into the chamber, flip up my sight, and we'll set it on close range with a big hole. Oh my gosh, 
I hadn't noticed. Look at all those root beer jugs. Some are out there at 40 yards. I don't know, Colt, can you shoot that far? I hope so. We got some close ones, so we better take these infiltrators out first. I see a root beer jug right here in front of me. Oh, he's gone. And a pop can. Oh, he's gone too. Another pop can. Yeah, pop can. Yeah, eat lead. Eat lead. Yeah. Gun's accurate for just a standard run of the mill gun. A couple left here. Oh, take off. Woo, blast off. Those are full metal jacket going at gosh knows what, 2,500, 3,000 feet per second. I'm not sure. But they just blast right through. I wish I had some hollow points or soft points. Now, out there at 40 yards is a steel plate. So I'm going to flip up my little sight and make the hole really small. See if I can hit the steel plate out there and not the camera, right? Clunk. Yeah, you can hear it ding. A little to the left. Hits that armor plate pretty good. Let's see if I'm any good here this, mor or this morning. I've got two ripper jugs out there at 40 yards, and I'm running out of ammo. Let's see if I can hit them. One there on the right. Yeah, took the root beer out of that one. There's one on the left. Yeah, took the root beer out of that one too. I think this would shoot a lot farther if I wanted to. Maybe a boulder up there on top. Let's do a mag dump. Ah, I love the smell of gunpowder and root beer in the morning. Does that shoot or what? All right, let's make the gun a little bit heavier. 60 rounds on the steel plate. Folding the stock. Yeah, I could defend my bedroom with that. Well, let's let her cool down. What a gun, what a piece. What I was trying to do there is make a jam ain't happening. This isn't just any AR, this is a Colt M4. Military's guns are slightly different, upgraded. Military can put a grenade launcher on the bottom. You know, that'd be cool. Uh, some of them come suppressor equipped, this one isn't. But you can get a gun like this from guns.com. They're available. Take a look today. But that's it. That's the M4. I love it. It's a great gun. It's a black gun. It's a Ronbo gun. Hoorah! Go shooting! It's fun, boys and girls! Welcome back to Arizona. Come back and see me again. Hoorah!